Esperance is known for its many beautiful faces. Not only does it have the most stunning natural attractions, its rich soil also allows for loads of premium barley to be grown by the local farming community. What do you get when you combine fresh rainwater, real hops and locally grown barley? Lucky Bay Brewery. After years of working in grain quality and research, Nigel decided to take his gain knowledge and use locally grown barley for malt and create his own craft beer. Did you know that most local barley grown in WA for malt, thanks Nigel, is actually exported, which means that most craft breweries can't buy WA malt barley to brew their beers. However, raw barley doesn't need the same amount of water and energy to be produced as malt barley. So when Nigel and his partner Robin dove into the world of beer science, they found a way to use up to 75% raw barley from the farm up the road to create their own craft beers. And everything is about local. I mean, our icon is Brew Roo. Um, you look at Esperance and it's about kangaroos on a beach, but it's also about grain production. We're a very successful grain producing region and it's just a great opportunity to use some of that in our beer. Not just that, you're catching the rainwater off the roof using that. You've got uh, solar panels out there, is that part yeah, of it? Yeah, we top up a bit of our electricity supply with solar um, and the rainwater is a really important ingredient because it gives us a beautiful clean water profile and a lot of flexibility in the beer we can brew from that. How does it actually work, can you show me? No worries, we'll go for a bit of a walk. Yeah. So Dan, this is our first vessel of the process. Um, it's where we mill our grains and it comes into here with some hot water. It's called our mash tun. And that's how we extract the goodies from the grain that then comes across into the kettle for boiling and adding of hops. The waste product from that is, um, goes down the road to a friend of ours who's got a few cows and there's a local lady who's experimenting using some of that in her sourdough bread. After we've boiled and add our hops, we then come across to the fermentation vessel and that's where the hard work's done from the yeast and it converts it from what we call wort into beer and then from there it's uh, ready to be carbonated and uh, served. And here is the end result. Recognisable by Lucky Bay's well-known icon, the kangaroo. All the different brews are named after local hotspots. There's Sandy Hook, Thistle Cove, Skippy Rock, there's Cyclops, that's a wonderful beer. In fact, everything about this microbrewery celebrates the local community. You can taste it in every single sip. So when you're planning your next trip to Esperance, make sure to visit Lucky Bay Brewing for your own tour. And those aroma hops really do smell quite a lot. For more info and to check out the details on Australia's Golden Outback and Esperance Hotspots, head to our website.